Good morning everybody. I hope you're all very well. Welcome back to my channel. By the time you watch this, it will have probably been Christmas. Just jumping into the future. I hope you have had a lovely Christmas. It won't quite be New Year. Maybe it will... I hope whatever time it is, I hope it's all going really, really well for you. I am currently back home and I'm about to go shopping in London with my little cousin Vaso, who you may remember from previous videos when I introduced her as my sister, because I always get asked, is that your sister? Most recently, I actually got asked if she was my daughter, which took me aback a little bit. I was like, okay, um, I'm 28. I don't have a 16 year old daughter, but okay. We move. We're about to head into London and do a little bit of Christmas shopping, enjoy the festivities. We're staying overnight in my favorite hotel as well, which I think she will absolutely love. She's dying to have a little bit of girly time. So I said to her, like my Christmas present to her this year will be our trip to London and we'll go and shop and have fun and eat delicious food. So I'm really looking forward to it. But before we get going, I must thank the sponsor of today's video which is Skillshare. For those of you that are not already aware, Skillshare is an online learning platform with thousands of classes for like creative people like you and me. There's classes for photography, design, entrepreneurship, uh, mindfulness, they've got creative writing courses. I'm just really enjoying the class that I've been doing for the last few weeks. I'm working on something at the moment which I'm submitting in January. Not sure if I'll get accepted or not to what it is, but I find that the Skillshare course is really helping me when I get like a bit of writer's block or I get stuck and I can be like, okay, let me go back to the basics and hear it all over again. And then I'll go back to my writing and like throw myself back into the characters. I really, really like the teacher and I'm just loving having the class available to me. And there's also just so many other classes as well. I've let Atch use my Skillshare as well. And he's currently on a bit of a like mindfulness journey himself. And one of the things that he's focusing on at the moment is just being the best version of him. So I know what for him that's like his routine. It's waking up early, it's exercising, it's not scrolling on his phone late at night. So he knows the things that he needs to do. And I've given him access to my Skillshare as well because as well as doing all of this, he's also documenting um, bits and bobs online and he needed to learn how to make like short videos and share those videos on his social media and I was like actually I don't have time to teach you all of this so you just have to go learn yourself and he's learned on a Skillshare class so now he's posting stuff on Instagram all the time creating little short videos I'm really proud of him and thank you Skillshare because if it wasn't for those classes, then he wouldn't be doing that. If you're interested in Skillshare, then the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium, which is wonderful. I'd definitely give it a go. You can cancel at any time. You don't have to commit. Click the link in the description. I know a few of you have already because I can see from previous videos that a lot of you are now enjoying Skillshare. So if there's anyone left, then click the link and I hope you enjoy your classes. Now let's skip to London. All right, we have a chopped salad with pomegranate, red cabbage, almonds, lettuce, and carrots. And then we also got this um, burrata, which looks stunning. And then they gave us bread as well, which I have naturally drenched in this olive oil here and it's really really good it's getting real because they've brought out this which means they're gonna do the cheese wheel all here this is building the excitement and we've finished our cocktails we're just looking for some wine now and Basil, what did you see fancy i think it's called dusty i don't know if i'm pronouncing it right but it's like a sparkling wine it's like very fruity oh moscato Moscato? Yeah, it does. I love it too. It's very sweet. Oh yeah, should we get two, two Moscato? Of course. I love that for us. We'll see you back here for the cheese wheel. Wow. How many people order this a day? Maybe 20, 120. 120 people do this a day. I think it blew my mind when I found out that like real Italians don't make carbonara with cream. Oh, it's with eggs. Like just egg, egg yolks, right? yeah. So when I found that out, I was like, Everything's a lot. I'm no longer going to Papiano. They put cream in it. Yeah, no. no. Oh, when they scrape, they scrape it to get all the cheese out. That's incredible. 
Okay guys, we're in Old Compton Street. We're on Old Compton Street, not in. And um, we just walked past Gay Nero. So I was just telling Basso what Gay Nero is all about. Unfortunately, you cannot walk past that Nero as a gay man and not get stared at. That is Gay Nero. I love Gay Nero. I love, love Gay it. Man. You want to go to Gay Nero? No, me too. I'm just saying that is Gay Nero. Yeah. We're in Soho, just wandering down the streets. I wanted to show Basso Greek Street, which is the next one. But on the left. sadly, as Leah said, there's really nothing Greek on it. Which is sad. Yeah, that's what I was like, is there anything Greek on Greek Street? I was like, no, just a little picture opportunity of the little... Greek Street. Greek Street, yeah. I've never known anything Greek on Greek Street. Sad. Yeah, very sad. I feel like everywhere we've been today has got the same vibe, like the colourful. I feel like it's the kind of stuff that looks really cute in this shop, but then when you're at home and you wear it, you're like, what, what have I bought? <laughs> Yeah, they are. They feel like good quality, even though they're a bit outrageous. We're back at the hotel and Vassal's doing a little hotel tour for her parents on FaceTime, which is quite entertaining. We're just going to chill here for a bit and then get ready and go out for dinner. It's nice to just sort of have somewhere to just chill. Literally lie down for like half an hour before going back out. I haven't done this for forever, so it feels nice. I'm actually back here like next week for a more chilled weekend with Achille and Andreas and Eleni, who you might know if you've watched previous vlogs of mine, we are christening their child, their soon to be child. Eleni's currently heavily pregnant. We're just gonna have a little chilled one here. Meanwhile. That doesn't do returns, but Leah, will you remarry me? Yeah. <laughs> and then I am back here at New Year's Eve because I absolutely love this hotel so much. I love it. I, I can't show you more of it because they don't let you film inside certain parts. But it's so stunning. Like the gym, the sauna, steam room, pool. <sighs> it's lovely. We are basically here for a bit. It was raining when we were out and then we went and just got some drinks and some dessert. Sadly, the place I wanted to take Vassar for creme brulee was closed. And now I actually need to do some Googling because I don't have any restaurant plans for tonight. The restaurant plans were basically meant to be where we ended up going for lunch. So yeah, I need to make restaurant plans for tonight. I don't know where we're gonna go. She's in the mood for Mexican food. Yeah, I'm always up for a bit of that as well, so. The next day. Good morning, guys. It is 9.43. We actually got up around eight, but lay in bed for a bit, had some coffee, just had a chilled morning. I don't think I carried on vlogging last night after we got turned away from flat because they didn't have any more tables and they were closing. But the, the night didn't get very exciting. Oh, Vassal, your phone's ringing, it's your mum. Got Vassal's mum and dad ringing just to check that I, I haven't had her abducted and she's still alive and she's in London. Huh? I was like, uh, I'm gonna, we're going to the pool so I'm not gonna like take my phone, do not call me. Oh, like, so she called you, call... you right now? Yeah, and she was like, okay, love you, XXXX. No, that's sweet. We're checking out the hotel today, so we're gonna go have a steam, have a little bit of time at the pool, and then come up, get changed, get ready, and then go shopping. I actually don't feel like we got much shopping done yesterday. Well, we actually spent a lot of time in the restaurant, and like, the time just goes, and then you're like, oh, it's really late. <laughs> Luckily, we've got Westfield next door, so we're gonna pop to Zara, Charlotte Tilbury, all of those. Yeah, that's the day ahead. Didn't get anything from Charlotte Tilbury, but I had run out of a cream bronze that I've been using for like a year and a half from Chanel. And I should have really bought it at the airport and got a discount, but gift wrap here was so worth it. They're so gorgeous. So I'm really pleased about that. I was gonna put it on my Christmas list, but everyone's like, what do you want for Christmas? What do you want? But sometimes it's just better to just go and get the stuff you want yourself and tell people you don't want anything. That's my technique. I agree. <laughs> Covent Garden is looking very cute. They got the tree. Let me show you the trees. Oh, it's covered by a van. You can kind of see them around there. We have a table at... I'm not even going to try and pronounce it, but it's the best place for dumplings, especially soup dumplings in London. It's just around here. I'll put the name on screen because I don't want to crucify it like I did the other day with the pasta place. I think Vassal's first time trying proper soup dumplings. Yeah. Like She's had them in the Midlands, but they're just not the same. So yeah, bad choice of footwear today. I decided to wear Converse. Oh, we're standing in the way of everyone's pictures in Covent Garden. They've got the big tree behind us. We just walked past L'Audre 
for macaroons and Vaso has been saying for a while that she'd like to have like macaroons and coffee. Am I saying it right? Mac macaro macaroons. So yeah, that's basically where we're going for pudding. So cute at this time of year, look at it. Absolutely stunning. And there's the restaurant there for, for lunch. Right here, Ding Tai Fung. I don't think I crucified it. She looks, <laughs> now she's smiling. Usually she looks miserable, but she's having the time of her life. Yeah, because I don't want to go back to Coventry. <laughs> Really good, thank you. How are you? I'm so excited. I think it's like my third time here. I'm Your bringing my time. my cousin's first time. I've been here a couple of times. I love it. I love that you can see them making the like dumplings. It's so cute. All right, here she goes. Yeah, go for it. It's gonna be super, super hot. So you need to pierce it. <laughs> Get that soup in the spoon. Okay. It's gonna be really hot. I hope you don't burn yourself. Okay, good. <laughs> You're so funny. If it's not super hot, then yeah, just eat the whole thing. Live your life. <laughs> oh my god, even good without any um, sauce. Oh my god. Did you like it? The most delicious thing I had in yesterday. I've had it in my life. <laughs> This is amazing, this is heaven. It's so good, I got 10 of them. You can get five or 10 and obviously I got 10. <laughs> so excited, I can't believe I've just managed to restrain that whole time until now. And if they're not too hot, that means I could go all in one. No, I don't. No, not all in one. When they've cooled down a bit, they, they go down in one. Yeah, I used to come here with Atch, but he doesn't eat meat anymore. So now we've got meat eaters around. Dad absolutely loves it here. Like dad would take the train to London just to come here. His favorite place. I think the next ones are pork and prawn. Can you make a hole? No, no, there's no soup inside these, but you might want to dip. I've got a feeling they might be hot inside as well. These are fragile. I did not know they had soup inside. Apologies. I, I, I would prefer to have the shrimp put in like that big of a chunk. Yeah. Yeah. I look great. I didn't even know we ordered that many of these. I thought I ordered four, but we move. We've got the prawn and something. You could just eat. Yeah, I think I I've got no idea if it's soup underneath. Yeah. What do we think? There's no like you can't like. <laughs> Oh, it's leaking. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let mine cool down. <laughs> What's so cool is that you can get an advent calendar here, which is full of macaroons, macarons. How do you say it? Macaroons. Oh, I know how I think I say it. Oh, that's a massive bag. I love that for her. So I think we're gonna get a box of like, maybe six. Yeah. Oh, now for the choices. Oh, this is the menu here. Pistachio is 100% oh, the top choice favorite. for me. We're definitely going about four of them. I think my second favourite here would be... I don't want to get chestnuts. Raspberry. Um, can we have four pistachio, please? I don't know about that one. Yeah, you can try one. I definitely um, won't want that. Blue ones? Why? Yeah, Marie Antoinette looks oh, nice. Two of them, please. Raspberry ones, you said. Yeah, I really two like raspberry. What are those? Yeah, we are definitely getting raspberry and champagne. Oh, nice. <laughs> She's in her element. Look at her. So it's nearly four o'clock and it started to go dark already. You can't really tell on camera. It looks actually quite good lighting. We are now off for creme brulee. We picked up those macaroons and oh, yeah. baccarons and we just got them for takeaway. They look lovely. So cute. And Oh wow, I don't know if I've ever been down there. Oh, St. Martin's Courtyard. I think I have. I think that's where I once did a yoga class with Burt's Bees. There's only like London hideaways. This is nice. Creativity's in all of us guys. Whoever, whoever needed to hear that today. Why not do a Skillshare class, guys? Link down below. The bags are filling up. <laughs> what have we just got? Everything. Phone Literally. cases, matching phone cases. Oh yeah, and they're like pig piggy, because we're both piggies. Yeah, you've got to show. So we got this. 
times two because we're both little piggies. And we actually got really cheap hand sanitizer. So three hand sanitizers for one pound. I thought that was a bargain. Uh, yes, it was, and it's like a hundred an hour. Yeah, exactly. Perfect for the gym. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was such a lovely weekend. I just love London. I miss it. I miss having a little base there, but I do enjoy staying over at hotels. Like I, I do feel very bougie. London now feels like a treat to me. It doesn't feel like exhausting anymore. I just feel like that is my place and i love that for once like i know where i'm going because my sense of direction is so bad in other places just because i spent so many years in london so i'm like i know these streets so i still feel like a huge connection to it anyway i hope you enjoyed the video guys once again thank you to skillshare for sponsoring the video the link is in the bio if you're interested in a free trial and i'll see you in the next one bye oh the weather outside is frightful but the fire is so delightful And since we've got no place to go Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow